Hello, everybody. Uh, Max Rushton here. Look, there's Barry Glendenning's face. Hello, Max. Uh, here I am once again on what is actually a day off. Yeah. I have interrupted an afternoon drinking session to you come have. home yeah. to record this, to, yeah. to open a laptop yeah. and spend more time looking at your stupid face <laughs> on a screen. Why? Why am I here? You're here because it's the end of the season. The football season's nearly finished, Barry. I don't oh, know if you've thank noticed. Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> and the Guardian uh, will be, all the best Guardian writers will be doing their player of the season, their sign of the season. And me, and me. Yeah, all the best writers and Barry, um, their flops of the season, their goal of the season. And this is their way of making a small bit of video content for the internet to guide you towards their excellent writing. So, so we're, Barry, we're basically the public face of Guardian Sport, the handsome, chiselled features, uh, visage of Guardian Sport. Okay, here we go. Player of the season. For me, Clive, it's Kevin De Bruyne. Um, I think I could pick any number of Manchester City players. Okay, manager. I, I'm going to go Marcelo Bielsa, okay. just in keeping with our... Football Weekly love for the great man. I think what he's achieved with Leeds, which is ostensibly a championship team, f comfortably staying in the Premier League, and I just love him. Mm -hmm. Very on brand. Maybe David Moyes, but you're right. Um, uh, best match of the season. I mean, this is a hard one. I can't remember any of them. I like that weekend when Villa beat Liverpool 7-2 and Spurs won 6-1 this... at Man United. This is the answer uh, I was going to give. The game that got overshadowed with those, by those freak results was, uh, and again, more Mar Marcelo Bielsa love from me, was uh, Manchester City Leeds, which I absolutely love. But it kind of got lost in, in the weirdness of those two other results. Uh, goal of the season? I am going to go with Eric Lamella's Rabona which I loved, and I'm going to put it just above Edinson Cavani's recent uh, chip for Manchester United against Fulham. Yeah, it was Fulham. Uh, signings. Thomas Good. Suchek yeah. and his Czech mate. Sufal. Uh, Sufal were splendid signings for West Ham. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember how much they cost, but I know they were quite cheap. And no one expected much of them. And they really delivered. And gripes. I have many gripes. Uh, my main one at the moment, because of the pandemic, is the relentlessness of the, the football schedule. I know it's a very first world problem. Um, and no one wants to hear a journalist complain about having to watch too much football, even without leaving the house. But... Um, yeah, I find myself watching far too much football, even on a, late on a Sunday night when I should be watching Midsummer Murder uh, or an episode of Vera or something. Um, I don't want to watch Sheffield United versus Crystal Palace at eight o'clock on a Sunday evening. No one should have to do that. Commentators apologising for swearing, all press conferences, and football fans who say, "Why don't you?" talk about my club all the time that's fair enough great thanks so much for watching this video now click on the link and see what real football writers think about the premier league season goodbye say goodbye barry goodbye barry